So my name is Emil Ross. I'm the winemaker at Hamilton Russell Vineyards and I've been helping Berene since 2015 to make uh, Tesla style wine. So when I started at Hamilton Russell Vineyards in, at the end of 2014, um, Berene was already working here. She was, um, as she still is now, also doing all our um, labeling and, and export logistics and stuff. So um, she was part of the team when I arrived and I soon realized that she's quite a, quite a force. She, um, she doesn't sit still and she's very driven in what she does. So it was, um, I, I guess I had to meet her. So Tesla Zal is a small village uh, nestled in the heart of the Overberg and it's about 23 kilometers uh, northeast from the Yemel and Arda. Yes, so I am a Tesla Staller, born and bred. And Tesla Zal has got a very unique history, and I love history, and I love where I come from, and I love my roots. In the late 1700s, uh, Johannes Tesla, he was a captain in the Dutch army, and he got paid for with two pieces of property and eight Khoisan slaves. Um, so when he died in 1810, he left the property to his then freed slaves. So I'm a descendant of those slaves. Um, my mother is the actual Tesla Staller and my grandma used to um, farm with goats. My mother told me many stories about how she grew up and how she had to look after the, the goats yeah. um, and um, how they traded and how they walked to Stanford over the mountain. I always say I, I think I come from a family of beverage making because my grandma, <laughs> she used to make a brew that she called Skufan. It was frothy and not smelling very good and it was, uh, it didn't really have a color, it was pale, but I think it was more closer to beer than anything else, but um, she made it with like wheat, wheat grains and um, old piece of bread and raisin, like anything that could ferment. The, and that went into a, a, bu a bucket with a lid on yeah. and that she put under a bed and that thing stayed there for like two weeks or something. But I don't know to what alcohol that probably have gone because if she took two swigs of it, she was out. I grew up in a beer drinking community and the only wine they drank there was Ontas and a thing that they called Mos. What enticed me was this question that was nagging, why do people pay so much for the wine? I didn't know, I'm coming from a beer drinking, scufan drinking, Mos drinking background. Towards the end of 2014, um, Anthony suggested that we um, start something for Berean and we, we managed to find a really nice grape source in the Yemelin Arda Ridge um, and then from there it sort of it just happened quite quite naturally I guess um, we, we made the wine in the Hamilton Russell vineyard cellar as you know just as a separate batch and you know it was the first time for me in the in the cellar my first vintage at Hamilton Russell so it was quite easy in a way to get additional fruit in and, um, and work with that because everything was new. That's why I'm so passionate about uh, Tesla Zal. I mean, I think Tesla Zal also uh, stood out in the first year of release. The wine was good, thank you, Emo. <laughs> my, my dream is for her son to also fall in love with winemaking and then eventually um, take over. So I would like to have him in the cellar for a couple of years here until the, the vines are established on Tesla Stahl and then he can take over, you know, then, then the whole, then the whole Tesla Stahl family, the, everything just makes sense then for me. Yeah. So that's the, that's the long-term plan. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to see if he, we'll have we'll to have see to if he him. wants to. We'll, uh, Berene, Berene Strong will, she'll force him. I actually would like to, to ultimately in the end, offer an opportunity to someone that was offered to me. Um, because I was offered a unique opportunity through Anthony Hamilton Russell and I was taken through a unique experience with Emil Ross. People ask me who I am, I always say I'm the product of Brian and Riesels, who is two very ambitious people. And I am crazy about history and crazy about my, my roots. And South Africa is actually <laughs> the best winemaking country. There's this hype about France, which I'm sure um, is valid. And I think France is then probably the best or the leading wine producing country, but then second to that would be South Africa. Um, we've got the climate, we've got the soil, we've got the expression, we've got the um, talented winemakers and we've got, we've got everything going, fermenting in French barrels. <laughs> 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 but that's, that's just it, South Africa is, is the country man.